Hi there, it's Robin here from quiltinginthelof.com. This video is all about steps to make a vinyl project bag. I hope you enjoy the video. The first step in the process of making the vinyl bag is to iron interfacing to the top zipper gusset fabric and then iron interfacing as well to the bottom fabric. Step number two is to zigzag all of the edges of your zipper gusset fabric as well as your bag bottom fabric and that way it won't fray and won't show um, with once the vinyl is attached. Step three Clip and sew the right side of one of the gusset pieces to your zipper. What I'm doing right now is top stitching this zipper gusset very close to the edge of the zipper itself. And I've got the needle position all the way to the right and my number four zipper foot on. And I'm going to go ahead and top stitch. I've clipped my vinyl right side down onto the right side of the gusset, of the zipper gusset. I guess there's no really right or wrong side of the vinyl. My point is, is that the vinyl is uh, facing up and the gusset is underneath it. And I've got my roller foot on and that's the roller foot number 51. And I'm gonna go ahead and stitch it. And it stitches really, really well with this foot. There is no problem guiding that vinyl through the machine. Um, you can use either this foot or the Teflon foot number 52, which I'll try and show you right here. This one, get it in focus. There it is. You can also use a Teflon foot if you have this one. Um, this is the number 50, oh, 56, and it's an open toe one. If you're doing decorative stitches, then you might want to use this one, but it's also a great foot as well. I'm going to go ahead and continue to stitch and it glides like a dream. I've gone ahead and pressed a uh, finger pressed the vinyl to the back of the zipper gusset. You can see it right here. And then I have clipped it on each end and pressed it with my fingers as I went, changed my um, foot to the number 56 Teflon foot, the open toe one I showed you, and um, I've gone ahead and top stitched with red so you could see it a little bit better, but that finishes it off so that you actually don't see any of the fraying or anything, uh, even though it's been zigzagged, it finishes it off nicely with the connection to the vinyl. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the other side as well. I'm sewing one side of the bag fabric, um, the bag bottom fabric to the vinyl. And I'm using the 52 foot because it has this narrow section of the foot. And what it allows me to do is just kind of have a scant quarter of an inch. And then when I sew the other piece on the other, uh, like right sides together for the bag bottom, it will um, allow me to do the roller foot uh, seam allowance, which is wider. So this is more or less like basting and I'm using the 52 foot and it's gliding on the vinyl beautifully as well. You can see now that I've put the um, bottom fabric on right sides together on the vinyl um, with the right side of the zipper facing up if you're making this bag and, uh, and then they come together like this. And then what I'm gonna do is 
with both sides is finger press it down and then top stitch right along here. And I'm probably going to use an open toe foot for that so I can see what I'm doing. And that's where we're at right now. And then we'll go on to the other side. We're gonna do exact same step where we put um, the bottom fabric right sides together and uh, make the same kind of situation so that we, we're basically focusing on making the bag bottom and then we're gonna square it off. At this step, I have uh, clipped the bottom of the bag and marked a one and a half inch square in each corner. And this is to make the box bottom. I've now clipped the sides and the bottom of the bag and to get it ready to sew the side seams and the bottom seams. As you can see in this picture, I have bound the bottom with a straight uh, binding two and a half inches. And um, you're going to join your side seams and your bottom seams at the box corners and clip them and then go ahead and sew them. Reach in through the zipper and turn your bag to the right side. It will be stiff, but that's okay. Just slowly manipulate it so that you can get that vinyl pulled to the right side. And it's done. I have added a red zipper pull, as you can see, just to make it easier to pull open the zipper. As you can see, this is a great project bag to hold all kinds of different things. In it, I have a pattern and some fabric for a project that I'm working on, but you could also use it for 12 inch blocks. The final measurements are 13 and a half inches tall by 13 inches wide, so it certainly would fit um, a block of the month program if you're working on one. If you also wanted to store rulers or any other supplies, anything uh, that you can think of, it will keep it all together. You know, all of us quilters just love our bags, and this is just another great bag to make, and I hope you'll give it a try, and I hope you enjoyed this video.